thermometer, man. That's like a volume <laughs> switch with X. They got two switches on it, right? <laughs> yeah. I know that. I got a couple reel to reels that I kind of tinker with, man. And my soldering, desoldering station. Are we rolling? Yeah, we got it. All um, right. We're just talking electronics over here. It's Mark Slaughter. <laughs> yeah. I'm Jake Daniels, KATT in Oklahoma City. Any fond memories of Oklahoma City, Mark? Every single, every single time I've been here. <laughs> yes. been, you know, I've actually done this four times with the band, and I did it one time with the Rock and Roll Fantasy Camp. I remember. So it's it's a it's a nonstop party. Well, I don't have to tell you guys. It's, you know, this is a staple, man. Oh, this yeah, for sure. Yeah. Prior Oklahoma. Where do you live these days? Are you still in Vegas? Do you, have no, you been I in? moved to Tennessee about uh, 27 years ago. That's cool. And uh, I got a farm out there. Dude, you're yeah. doing it right, man. Yeah, man. Have a well. You know how it is. Oh, yeah. Like Watch real every- water, clean yeah, water. Yeah. <laughs> you know how it is. You got space. Got space. Trees, animals. Yeah. You know, they say a man ain't rich unless he's got a pea tree. You know what a pea tree is? Uh, That's a, a, tree, a tree you can go pee oh. on. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking pea tree dish. Now we're talking science. <laughs> well, we got. Some, we need to have Rock Oklahoma comedy open mic night. You right, know? <laughs> right. Exactly. Exactly that. Exactly. <laughs> But you, how was the set, man? Was it, was it awesome? The set was great. You know, the audience is always fantastic here. I mean, hot and sweaty and, you know, it's a big old party. I yeah. mean, I, I, we love playing here. Yeah, that's awesome, man. Yeah, and we, we thank you guys for all the years, man. I mean, Dude, still, Cat man. Stick it to you. I'm, you know, the wildlife, man. I know. I know, man. Dude, and those videos still stand the test of time, man. You know what I mean? Nowadays, people don't make videos anymore. No. And then you go back and look at those. I mean, all of them from... You know, 80s into the 90s, and it was like, man, you guys, all the bands would, and the labels would sink so much money into doing those up, you know, and right. I still think those are treasures, man. Yeah, they are treasures, and you know, it's kind of, the whole thing is, with, with this music anyway, it's like, a, it's an hourglass, and it's like, you yeah. flip it over, and it takes you to that time, and the images, and oh, sure. where you were, and who you're partying with, and... Who you're partying with now? I mean, it's what all good. What you remember? Man. Yeah, man. What you do remember? <laughs> exactly. Back in the day, man. Yeah. But listen, you know, I mean, you're still doing it, and you're healthy, and uh, life's good, man. Is Blas still playing with you? Uh, Blas is—he's actually uh, out with Kingdom Come right now. Oh, he is. Um, okay. Yeah, we have uh, Jordan Canada with us, and uh, uh, Will Hunt plays with us too from okay. Evanescence. So. I mean, we got to oh, rotate. Oh, is he doing double drummers. duty this weekend? No, he's actually coming here tomorrow. He was going to do today, but he has a show with <laughs> Evanescence that he plays tonight. Yes, but Evanescence is here this weekend that's too. Right, yeah, tomorrow. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, tomorrow. Yeah, yes. tomorrow. So I was saying, like, he, but he couldn't play with you because of the other. Yeah, Evanescence we always show and today. we always give uh, Will a hard time. We always <laughs> say that he should have his morning show because when he wakes up in the morning, he's so delightful. So, so I always say hey, that's. That's Will in the morning. We'll be right back. You know, whatever comment he has. So you can give him shit about that tomorrow. Uh, Will's awesome, yeah, man. Yeah. yeah. Those uh, early albums, I was just curious, too, because I think we've reached the 20th on those. Pretty sure we have. We just passed it, did we not? Well, Do you of, remember? Of, of what? Of the albums? The anniversary of them coming out, because oh, I it was tell the early you right 90s, here's, wasn't here's, it? Here's the crazy thing. It's 30 years ago. Was it 30? For, for Stick It To Ya and 32 years. Or 32 years for Stick It To Ya, 30 years for Wildlife. Well, it was this so year, Vinny 92. Vincent was obviously before that. Vinny Vincent was 1986 You're two with the first him, record. Right? You did yeah. two with him, yeah. No, I actually did one. one. I did the first record, and then in 88, I did the, the All Systems Go record. Yes. And then I split with Dana. And then we start a slot. I know, yeah, that's right. That's right. Dana Strum, yes. Yeah. So, I mean, it's, you know, it's, it's crazy, man. You don't even think about it, but, you know, we've been doing this a lifetime and, and uh, you know, all the years of coming through here, I remember yes. coming through with Vinny and, you know, we were here with Iron Maiden, actually. Dude, I, I remember it that was tour. Iron Maiden. And I was like a snot-nosed kid. I understand I was 20... Two Early years 20s, old. Early twenties, yes. Twenty-two years old, opening for Iron Maiden. I mean, God, <laughs> I mean, you want to talk about a dream right there? Come oh on. man, the world was like your buffet, oh, man, man. You know, I mean, and you know, still to this day, I mean, bring you know, doing our music and seeing people's reaction, you realize that the power of songs and the power of you know of us all in this and enjoying it together. Yeah. You know? Yeah, for sure. And, you know, a lot of a lot of your contemporaries back then, too, didn't really necessarily take care of themselves. So, no. you know, we're, we're starting to see more people that are becoming the survivors, you know. Right, and, right, right. And probably a lot of it has to do, like, moving 
Athens, Tennessee, I would think. You know, where you Move get out tag, of that right I get up in the morning and I'm doing something. Yeah, there's you sniff no. sniff the pine and you're like, yeah. yeah exactly, exactly. <laughs> well, yeah, nothing man. Only thing you're really doing is have a little sip of moonshine at the most. You know? <laughs> I love it, yeah, man. Yeah. No, the reason why I asked about the anniversary stuff earlier, I was just curious, you know, because of resurgence of vinyl. And I'll probably talk about it all this week. I'm like a vinyl guy. Are you? Yeah. Well, more of an audiophile, you know, somebody who actually, you know, calibrates the stylus and, wow. you know, your, you know, all the things that go into it, you know, balanced stereo outputs, you right. know, maybe a little bit on the higher echelon of knowing your equipment right. and right. its limits and that. So uh, I definitely still gravitate towards vinyl. Well, you know what? I, I totally get it. And it was really hard for us, you know, with, with our band is because our first record wasn't put out on vinyl. Yeah, it was on CD. It was on CD yeah. and cassette, but yeah. they released it like in Europe. And then they did like the Time Life, you know, <laughs> BS. The ballads they, of yeah, the 80s or they throw, And yeah. they throw like a, you know, a garbage vinyl out there. So... I mean, it's... k it, Yeah, yeah. So there wasn't really a great vinyl on those early records. So we're starting to put that stuff out. Are you going to do it through your website? Because I notice a lot of people have figured out there are people yeah, they can partner with to do it. it. Yeah, we just kind of let it just fly as it flies. I mean, well, I... Well, dude, that stuff's a treasure, man. All the all the old work. I mean, it, it it's really great stuff, Oh, man. thanks. You know, it's we were definitely a different band from the era because we wrote, produced, and did everything ourselves. That's right, yeah. So it's very different in the the side that we were in you know, a creative control from the front. Yeah. And, and yeah. still do it to this day. So I think oh, we yeah, for band sure. that did that. And how you could scream like you did, you know, on the oh, yeah. of the end. How you could hit those notes. <laughs> there was like you, the dude from Steelheart. Right. There were some of the other ones that could just nail that Sebastian register. did well. Yes, 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 yes. On the first couple. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah you guys just had that ability to just belt it there's, out. Dan, you know Tom what, man? Kiefer. Yeah, Tom's yeah. great. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's, look, there's a lot of great singers and there's a lot of great musicians from that time. And oh yeah, and I think it was kind of lumped into, uh, you know, oh those guys can't play, and then grunge came out, and you realize that the other guys could play a little bit better than the guys they yeah, went to. I know, right? You know, it's a totally different mindset. Oh, for sure. But, uh, you know, look, it's 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 nice to be a part of uh, rock and roll history. And I agree. And I can't thank, thank you and thank the cat for all the years, man. Because, you know, it really is one of those things that uh, you, you you know where he came from. You know? That's right, man. Yeah. So. Yeah, touring with Vinny and Maiden, man. That would have been a hell of a lineup, dude. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was a blast, man. I was just like, it was the Somewhere in Time tour. Yeah. Yeah, right after Peace of Mind, which I was a big fan. And the funny thing is, is, is a year before that, I was teaching guitar in Las Vegas, so I knew all the Iron Maiden licks and Did everything you? else. Oh, yeah. But I was just a singer. You know, I didn't have to play guitar anymore. And you were on the front row even at the shows you were playing on, That's right? right. That's like, right. Oh, my God, Steve here's... Yeah. <laughs> I'd ask him to throw me a pick, but he didn't yeah. use any. Oh, <laughs> uh, shoot. You get to get whopped up on stage, right? Oh, They're man. touring cases, whatever. Hey, Steve, can I have a pick? Oh, yeah. I know people who do that nowadays that are, you know, from Oklahoma playing bands, man. Yeah. Oh, John from Seether, he is a huge Kiss fan. And when they went on tour in the 90s with the Nixons, he was like on the stage. Hey, drum tech. Hey, can I have Gene's blood cup? You know, just <laughs> right. awesome stuff like that, man. Total fan. Uh, but a lot of people don't realize, you know, a lot of you got, you know, musicians are always influenced by somebody else. So they're really fans, too. You know, so I think that's yeah, how it translates to that. Absolutely. It's your influences. It's where you come from. Yes. You know, you know if you're if you race cars, you're going to you know have the guys. That's Right. You want to be like those drivers. You know, That's right. Thing. Yep. What guitars are you playing these days? I'm playing the Carlino guitars. Uh, Eddie Carlino. He's got a, he's got a reverb shop, and he's got the best straps in the world too. All right. the guys in Kiss are using his. Straps. Really? Yeah. I didn't well, I, I didn't know that. As That's well cool. as Motley. Yeah. He makes these fantastic guitar straps and and uh, guitars and you know it's nice to, it's a home brewed thing. It's not like mass produced, but it's exactly. All quality, yeah. You know? Not overseas made here. Yeah. Yeah. Made in America. America. Does he make potentiometers? He got he got him right there, right there, front and center. Mark Slaughter, man, right here. Awesome, <laughs> brother. Thank you for listening. I mean, thanks for coming out. Sorry, I man. I appreciate it. I man. thought we were live on the radio. There you go. Are we on the radio? Can I say fuck? <laughs> <laughs>